All right, let's get started now. Hey there, everyone. Uh, really? This is, whoa, I never had this issue. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrew Ma. On this channel, I usually post once a week and I do app reviews. I create these little tutorials to hopefully make the experiences of using the apps I mention about just a little bit easier. Even if this tutorial helped you a little bit, I'm glad it did. That would be awesome. By the way, I love this app. This app saved me in a bunch of situations in school and just daily life in general. It's it's an awesome app. Also, I forgot to mention that the app is actually called Scanner Pro. Yeah, just wanted to put that little segment in, but let's get back to the video now. I would have to say it's basically one of my favorite apps and it's just so convenient. Before we get started with this video, I'm gonna break this video into three sections. Number one, I'm gonna talk about the background, a little bit about the app, and then also how to download the app. Number two, I'm gonna talk about the most important features. Number three, I'm gonna talk about the additional features. Just little stuff that may come in handy later. Before we get started, I just wanted to clear something up real quick. For Android users out there, this app is not available on Play Store, but there is an alternative. It is called Cam Scanner, and I'll put it in the link down below if you wanna take a look. But Android users, if you want to watch this video, go ahead. If you don't, it's up to you. But Apple users, keep watching. You'll find this tutorial like really helpful. So hang in there. Oh yeah, and also before we start, go check out my dad's uh, video I did. I did a, a music video with my dad. We did a little guitar thing. It is pretty cool. So anyways, go check it out. I'll put the link down below so you can also take a look. And also at the end of the video, I'll put like a little like um, card so you can click on it. So. Yeah, well, let's get back to the video now. All right, now let's get started. All right, I'm back now. Okay, so now I'm in my phone now. I'm gonna move this way for you guys. So, okay, so first, this app costs $3.99. Okay, just by the way, I already bought this app, so I'm just gonna show you how to download it real quick. So, airplane, really? Oh. <laughs> So I'm gonna click on App Store. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on search. Now I'm gonna search for Scanner Pro. Let's see. Oh, found it right here. See, I already downloaded it, but anyways, this app is 4.6 stars and is right now ranking number two in business as of today, the September 3rd. I'm doing a review on this app. And um, the version is 7.3.11. It was updated about like a month ago. So it's pretty good. Ah, oh, I found this comment right here. Wow, they must love this app. Well, of course they do. It says five stars there, clearly right there. But <laughs> anyways, I love this app, so. Yeah, let's get started. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this company is called Ruyadol. They're the developer of the app itself. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna open the app now. Okay, and then I'm on the main page now. So, number two, I'm gonna talk about the, just the important features of this app, just things that you really should know about. That's like, that makes this app like super useful. Okay, I'm gonna click on the plus button. Okay, you can see the camera set up now. And then I'm gonna scan this document I had if I, for my Spanish class. Ooh, nice. That's how you scan a document. Automatically, boom, it comes in. Wow, so convenient. Huh, what's that noise over there? <laughs> okay, so now, Basically, that's how you scan, and then I'll just save it. But what if you clicked on the, because um, there's an auto on here, I'll switch to manual, okay. So if I had that, and then it wouldn't take the picture unless I would take the picture, basically. I would have to snap it, for example. 
And then basically you just fix the edges, you crop it so it can be perfect. So it'd be like a square document. You know, I, I did my best. So I saved that, okay. And I pull it in here. Yeah, it's basically pretty accurate. It's nice, it works. It's like a, a fast scanner. You don't have to use like a heavy, you know, super heavy scanners, just use your phone. And boom, it pops up, so convenient. So now I'm gonna click on three dots on the top, like right hand corner. They have a recognized text, OCR. So it's just doing, just waiting, okay. It takes a little while. Oh, boom. And, and it recognized some of the text. The, all the stuff's in Spanish. But for an example, you could uh, you could copy and paste this into like some sort of like document or something. So I have to say it's very convenient. See, so it says describe your city or town. You know, you could like click on that, highlight that, copy, and then you could paste it in the document. So that's amazing. I love the OCR app. So you scan the document and then you actually get the word on your phone too, and then you could put like your notes. Um, like pages if you're like an Apple user. You can use Google Docs for like Android and Apple. It's amazing. And that was the image. That's the text. You could copy all if you wanted to, but yeah. I wonder what the setting says. Ooh. <laughs> you can add more languages too if you wanted to. So you click on settings. Mm, you can add like Spanish. Reprocess. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Does it work? Awesome. Nice. See, so I just went here, and then guess what? It popped up Spanish. Now I can copy and paste Spanish if I wanted to. Oh, so convenient. What's up with all the airplanes today? It's like, what? <laughs> okay, so that's basically the OCR feature. Oh, it's a helicopter. If you wanna add like another document, you could just press the add button and then you can make it into two pages. Pretend I'm gonna scan my script. I'm gonna put auto. Okay, so. And then add that in. So I have two pages now. One, two. You just added another to your document. Oh, so convenient. Okay, you gotta check this out too. You can also rearrange your document so you can put, the f like, what if you scan them in the wrong order? You can switch them around too. So I'm gonna just, uh, okay, I'm gonna switch it around. Nice. So I have my script on the first page, and then on the second one, I have a, a little like vocab for Spanish, you know, I could do that. There's this feature, you do the uh, edit feature. You can fix the lighting too, so it's like a little different, you know. Oh, I see that, it's just, wow, it just changes. <laughs> okay, just, yeah, you know, see which what works for the lighting, you can just play around with that. You can also crop it too. Go back to the crop, just like I did earlier. Like, you can crop it like later after you took the picture. Find borders, oh nice. <laughs> find, it automatically finds the borders. Wow, that, that's cool. It's a find border button. Okay. And then uh, you can change this around. You could do a color photo, it looks different. Grayscale, make this black and white like I did earlier. Or you could do color document. Uh, uh, looks funny, but I'll stick with black and white. Well, you could also share this document. Usually with this app, I just print from it. I scan it and then I just print directly from it to like my um, air printer. If you have any of those available in your house. So they're pretty, uh, it's worth it. So you can also set the password on this PDF if it's like, uh, if it's very confidential, you know? It's so confidential about this, but yeah, anyways. If you want to save it, you press save. Boom, you saved it. Awesome, okay. So now I'm gonna click on three dots and if I wanna delete this document, click on this little red trash can at the bottom. Yes. Boom, it's deleted. 
it's gone. So that's how you basically work just the functions in general. Yeah. That's, uh, every day I usually just use it for those purposes. Number three, I'm gonna talk about just like a little feature that you should know, I guess, so it might help you. So anyways, well, I'm gonna click on the settings button. Just some stuff, yeah. <laughs> it, it shows that, scans, whatever, yeah, it tells you the day and the time too, so it's pretty convenient. Cloud service, uh, I have Google Drive that. You could do Wi-Fi access, network. Oh yeah, text recognition. That's OCR. That's what I use. I just talked about that earlier. You can switch around the languages that you might have. Okay, well, let's click on advanced settings, see what it does. Oh, just password, iOS, start camera. Just, I guess if you need to use those, you could. Okay. Email template. That's like the email if you're going to basically send it to someone. And then workflows. If you need support or something, you can click on here and then they have like all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, what a workflow. So let's see. Oh. That's workflow. I found it right here. So you can add as many actions as you want for workflow. It says, hmm, interesting. That, that's just about workflow. If you needed help on that, click on that button. That would be useful. It's the help button. That would basically save you the frequently asked questions. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what's privacy policy? Okay. Wait, is that a bug on my head? Ew. <laughs> okay. And then there's... What's new about this app? Oh, cool. It's compatible with iOS 11. <laughs> okay, more apps by Riaddle. Ah, I use Documents for it's a good app too. Printer Pro is pretty decent, but I would say Scanner Pro is my favorite app right now, so far from the bundle or whatever they have there. <laughs> There's like a radar button. Some stuff, it's scanned, I guess. I don't use that radar button, so. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention also the feature called a radar, just for stuff like right now. You could, it just basically what it does is, so this app will search, yeah, it will basically search through your photo library and display like documents and receipts ordered by date, basically. Yeah. Okay. This is a little bit about the, and I'll put the link where I found this so you guys could use it. Okay, so, oh yeah, another thing you should know is you can also select here. And for an example, I'm gonna, oh, I can merge them as one document too. Done. Nice. And I got two documents. Awesome. Just merged them together to, to create a new, like a double, the two document. I use two documents and then I merge them together into like one. So there's like two pages now. Then also I could delete it. Boom, yes, deleted. Well, basically that's everything about the app, yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this app review, leave a thumbs up. And if you thought this app review needed a little bit more improvements, leave a thumbs down for constructive criticism. So yeah, up to you but leave a thumbs up if you like it. I would really appreciate it. Oh yeah, and go subscribe if you haven't yet. This channel, I do like mostly app reviews and I always fit in like a little bit about my life and everything, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, click the bell button because in the future I'll be releasing new videos, so you can go check that out when I ever do, basically. Oh yeah, one last thing to say, go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is somewhere, I can do it like right here, yeah, like a, Piano Guy 1965. Yeah, that's my Instagram thing. <laughs> All right. Well, see you in the next video. And help me up and give me dignity. Somehow you needed me.
You give me strength to stand alone again.